hey, this is going to be short, but uh, kind of interesting. I've developed this bad habit that whenever I'm watching TV, I browse the internet. I mean, the difference between YouTube and TV is that on TV you can't choose what to watch and when to watch, so you need to keep yourself occupied doing something else at the side. So I browse the internet and I've noticed that I like things more than I like people. So if I go and browse the Twitter or Facebook, just people just start to annoy me. I mean, they come up with all kind of conspiracy theories and whatnot. But when I go on eBay, you know, things take it easier. Like things don't, things won't get on my nerves as much as people. So I browse eBay. And every now and then I find something interesting and then bad things happen. Or good things, depending on your point of view. Now, about a week ago, I found this one. This is a Craflex SLR camera. Like many of you know the Craflex from this. This is a Speed Graphics. It is the most famous Craflex model. It takes 4 times 5 uh, sheet film and it's been used by many world famous photographers. But this is not where Graflex started their products. And actually the first camera they made already in 1898 was an SLR camera, single lens reflex. Which is kind of amazing because that is still the prevailing camera design. You know, just the tilting mirror and all that. So I found a Graflex RB Series B on eBay. Now, why this camera is extra interesting for me is that this is the camera from where Victor Hasselblad drew his inspiration from when he designed his first camera. And even though it doesn't look like a Hasselblad, there are a lot of similarities. So this is an SLR camera, which means that there is a mirror that tilts. It has a chimney type of a viewfinder, like the Hasselblad would have. And then it has a curtain shutter, the same way Hasselblad has it. And it is also pretty amazing that these old cameras go up to the speed one thousandth of a second. Now I contacted the seller before I made an offer. This is in a really nice shape. He explained to me a little bit about the history of this camera and all the metal parts, all the leather, totally fine. The lens is in a really nice condition. But the major issue with the ca this camera was that the shutter was stuck. And that's why he was willing to sell it fairly cheap. So I made an offer, he accepted and this camera arrived a few days ago. I contacted the Graflex Parts, that's a company in Minnesota that specializes in Graflex cameras and they helped me to figure out what's wrong with this camera. Now the nice thing with these old Graflexes is that you can fix them pretty much using just two tools. You need a small wrench, yeah that's what you need with the Graflex, and a small flat head screwdriver. You know, this is pretty much all you need. So I managed to fix the curtain. I just needed to adjust the tension of the spring and it started to work nicely. And then I lubricated it, I cleaned it up and lubricated it and now it seems to work perfectly. You take a picture like this, you press the shutter here with your thumb and then it takes a pitch. Now, I'll make another video when I get really familiar with this one, but I just wanted to take two pictures and since I was in a hurry, I used Instax film. It's a Polaroid type, you know, rapid shooting film. And the funny thing is that it goes almost perfectly into one of these small 6x9 film holders. And then you can take a picture with your Graflex on an Instax. Here are the two pictures I've taken so 
far. Pretty cool, huh? I'm so stoked about this camera. Not only it looks nice, it feels nice, but it also smells good. So sometimes it's not all about the pictures, but it is also about the experience of shooting and holding a camera in your hands.